is uh, John Mazeniff. I'm associate professor at the Oakland University. I'm in the mechanical engineering department. Today we're working on a project which is to find ways to produce water more efficiently. And uh, you know, water is a big issue. Everybody needs water, so mm. the, uh, there's a huge demand for finding more efficient ways of producing water. And so what we're looking at here is ways of recovering energy that um, uh, can then be recycled to desalination plants to produce water more efficiently. Um, so hello, my name is Sanjana um, and I am the technical lead on the project that we are partnering with Alicat. So in this project, we are, uh, you, we are building an experimental setup to test the concept of generating power from salt water gradient. Uh, I'm Sabur Khan Mohammadi, I'm a PhD student at Auckland University. Our goal is to maximize the efficiency of these systems. Or the output of this system is depending on uh, different variables like the mass flow rate and applied pressure. We are tracking, we, we are trying to uh, track those points that the system will uh, give a maximum efficiency and give a maximum power. The Alicat equipment is helping with establishing the control on the operating variables that we would like to control, such as the flow rate of the streams and the applied pressure. And not just that, we also need to talk to the equipment, like build a medium where we can control the equipment, uh, like give commands. The function of flow vision, uh, it's like the interface to uh, get the data from the sensors and to manipulate those data to get uh, the, the result that we want. For, for example, let's take flow rate. We can ask it to go like five meter cube per second, and then it does that. So that medium is making things easier for us. So um, I think that's one attractive part of the Alicat equipment. What we found is that by operating at just the right flow rates and just the right pressures, we can extract energy uh, as efficiently as possible if we just fine tune those operating parameters. So we've been working on that in theory with different simulation tools that we've used, but this is the first time that we try to implement it and. Uh, you know, in, in a lab experiment. So we believe we can greatly improve the, uh, the efficiency of uh, ROD sound. So in this stage we are setting up the bench and with the new equipment that we, we have purchased from the Alicat company. So we are trying to do the first stage of the experiments and uh, yeah, we, we, we are working on that. We went with Alicat uh, because we had uh, all the control options that we needed, you know, all from one vendor as well as a software package. We'd be able to implement the, the algorithm and logic, uh, kind of control logic we wanted to. Also, we had, we, you know, we received great support, so uh, in terms of technical support and troubleshooting, uh, that's been really very helpful. Okay, so this is what we call our osmosis bench. And at the heart of the osmosis bench is our membrane cell, which is housed here. This uh, module contains a flat sheet membrane. This is an acrylic uh, frame uh, which compresses uh, a membrane, flat sheet membrane sample, which could be made from a number of materials. Right now we have a cellulose acetate uh, membrane in here. So this divides uh, this chamber into two cells. Uh, one which contains um, circulating fresh water and another which contains circulating seawater, although other fluids can also be considered. But what we do with this arrangement is we um, study osmosis and how osmosis responds to different operating conditions. And then um, depending on the conditions of those fluids, meaning depending on the pressure, concentration and temperature, we can drive uh, water either one way or the other. The dynamic here that we, you know, is at the heart of, uh, of osmosis is a concentration potential which translates to a uh, driving force or an osmotic pressure. And so that osmotic pressure can either be our friend or foe depending on what we're trying to accomplish. In some cases we're working against it when we try to extract water from seawater. What we can do if we apply a very high pressure to the uh, salt water side, we can actually extract, extract fresh water from the uh, from the concentrated uh, source. And other applications can be our friend. We can use osmosis as a spontaneous uh, energy source to produce power. We can do what's known as uh, uh, forward osmosis if we have a low pressure on the, um, uh, on the concentrated stream. That high concentration will draw fresh water towards it and that can be used for a number of things including power generation. 
And so all that happens uh, right here in this cell where we have mass being transferred from one side to the other, um, either uh, against or with a, um, a pressure uh, differential. This project is actually a part of Marine Energy Collegiate Competition. The part that we are not just doing theoretical work, we are trying to prove a concept at the Ben scale level and also the opportunity to work with the partners, you know, like the National Lab, Alicat. So that's something that that collaborative environment, I think that excites me the most. The, the uh, motivation behind most of our work is uh, to find ways to improve the sustainability of critical infrastructure, especially uh, energy and water systems. You know, we all feel very strongly about that and we feel that the work we're doing can uh, make a difference in terms of uh, developing developing new technologies to help with some of the big picture challenges we face. That kind of motivates us for working late or meeting deadlines and stuff like that. So.